Hey, what's up everyone? So I got a video request. Uh, someone wanted to see how big the pink stripe is so far. And as you all remember, I got this guy free because he wouldn't eat on its own. So let me get him out. actually in really really good size three ninety nine three hundred and ninety nine grams there you go scale out you guys can remember this guy I think he um, weighed um, 37 grams as a hatchling and he was force fed four times until the breeder said enough and he didn't want to deal with him no more and he was about to put him in the freezer until I ran into him at a reptile expo he offered him to me for free and I got him going uh, a few more meals on this guy and he will be breeding a pastel this season and hopefully I'll be making some uh, lemon blasts looks really nice really nice colors on this guy and I do want to apologize for not making videos lately but since you guys know I'm from Chicago and I'm a huge Blahawk fan and this is the reason or they are the reason I I haven't been doing much lately but partying and celebrating um, what's new here yes uh, one of the eggs might not make it I'm really hoping it does and right now I got them in a mixture of vermiculite and perlite or perlite whatever it's called and that egg right there on the back end has grown some mold on it I try to uh, wipe it off and it keeps coming back I know many of you will comment with advice but I trust me I tried many things on it and it still has veins on it so I hope everything's good they're due next month in about 30 days I believe So that's everything. Um, I actually paired up my cinnamon girl yesterday. She hasn't taken a meal for uh, the last three weeks or three attempts. So I, he I figure what the heck. I threw in my black pastel mail in there and I check a day later and they were locked up so hopefully they'll make me some supers whatever the super cinnamon and black pastel is called because I forgot another thing this big girl finally ate 
since I got her back in November. She took a medium red. This is the blood trail there. And um, yeah, I said it. She was she was gonna eat eventually. They all eat eventually. They just you just gotta give them time or make some changes in their environment. For instance, she was in Cypress mulch and I switched her to paper and she ate. She didn't eat right away as soon as I switched her to paper, but you know, you gotta keep up, give them a couple of weeks to adjust. And that's it for now. Um, hopefully, next video I'll be showing the hatchlings. And until next time. Oh, yeah, before I go, go check out my new background wall on my YouTube channel. See if you guys liked it. I had nothing to do today so I figure I'll change it what the hell so go check it out see if you like it comment here on the video or comment on my channel and if you guys have any video requests let me know alright thanks